if we move it, then they won't know, Lemon, that I filmed this at the same time as the last one, even though I already told them that I was going to. Except now the framing looks all weird. If I sit here, then I cover up Lemon and it's fine. Except I should... See how much work I put in to make this quality for you? It's because I care about you and your views. Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries and this is the spiel that I give every time I start a video. For those of you that are new, welcome. I try stuff on my channel, I do a lot of juggling, I sometimes try other weird stuff. And today I want to share my experience from when I was in Britain a couple weeks ago. I've already made two other videos about this. I was there for the BJC, so I made a video about that and talking about that experience. Make sure you go check that out. And then I made another video kind of just showing a little vlog thing that I made of my experience after BJC. Well, I have one last video for you from my time over there. And this one is also like a little vlog. I filmed it in the airport on my way out of England. Without further ado, here's Taylor from a couple weeks ago in a whole other continent doing some juggling stuff. Hello. So. I am at London. I know how to speak. I got up really early. And then I took an hour tube, which is the underground, which is the subway. So I'm at London Heathrow Airport with the planes. I got about an hour <clears throat> before my flight. So while I'm here, I was just thinking like, oh, I should get some juggling in. I love juggling in airports because they're awesome. Because look at the ceilings all this unused ceiling space. There's so many ceilings. I think my headphones keep like connecting and disconnecting also. Sorry if the audio is terrible. We're doing our best. I'm trying to do the, the vlogging thing. To the point, I am here in the airport with some tall ceilings and I wanna juggle. And yesterday, I got to see Dom, Dominic. My name is Dominic. He's from Australia. I come from Melbourne, Australia. And he was in London at the Covent Garden. I travel around the world as a busker, as a street performer. He was performing, street performing, on the street for the people. Kicking up into juggling with four balls, which looks a little bit like this, and uh, kicking up into juggling with five, which I'm gonna do very soon. Now, yay. It was a very cold, windy day, but I got to see some of his act, and that was very good, and he was doing nine ball juggling, which is very hard and very impressive. The finale trick, juggling with nine. Now, I know talking about the money. Thanks, buddy. If you do have money, um, I want some. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you. What a great crowd. And he did like a really good run of it. One, two, and Oh, wait, 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 some of you may have noticed I dropped one. He did an extra long run because I was there apparently, which was awesome. I was thinking, you know, I could do nine balls if I tried, I think. <laughs> Easy, I've never tried. I've never even held nine balls like in a real way. Hey, I got some tall ceilings. Why don't we try to do it? I think it's gonna go great. Seven ones has a dent in it. That makes it extra hard. Eight, nine. How does he even hold nine of them? I got him. Here we go. Yep. That went really well. It was better than I thought, honestly. I actually got some out of my hand. It's harder than it looks. You try it. I'm gonna just do some real juggling because that was embarrassing. So let's do that.
was terrible. <laughs> Usually I have a little more time. Got some seven in, really not a very good seven, very messy. Normally I would do like a whole warm up or something. It's not very efficient just to go right into a crappy unwarmed up seven. Got some people that were watching me, like this person right there. That was cool, they clapped. But that's the fun thing about juggling in airports. People always like, they always seem really receptive and appreciative because I think everyone's kind of bored and just sitting and doing nothing. So anything exciting is fun. Kids get really excited and then kids will come over and watch and then their parents will just leave them there as though I'm not a stranger in an airport that has never met them and is not responsible for their kids. But other than that, it's fine. Nobody here did it, but there's not a lot of people in this little corridor, so I think that's why. <laughs> yeah, that seven was pretty messy, but you know, got some catches in. It's basically nine. It's just the same as what Dominic did. Oh, some people might be asking or wondering, like, how do I even have my balls with me? Because I always get asked that question, like, can you carry on juggling equipment? And the answer for me has always been yes. I bring Russian balls, which are usually the most alarming because they have like sand in them because it just looks like a weird ball with some sort of substance in it. I have brought bean bags. I have brought sage balls. They always like have to do an extra security check on it. They were always like, what is this, this thing? What, what are you doing here? And I just say that they're juggling toys. Toys is the keyword because then they feel silly if they make you throw them away or if they think that it's a threat because it's a toy. Silex, meaning the silicone ones you can't bring on usually as a carry-on because it's liquid. I have made this mistake. Don't try to do that because it's too much liquid. Usually they don't like it. Yeah, I almost always bring balls with me. Usually I bring clubs as well. I know a lot of jugglers that have brought clubs on planes. I bring them almost every time and they just do the same thing. They look at them. They're actually usually more concerned with the balls than they are the clubs. I do make it careful note not to ever call them a club. Usually I call them a pin or a toy because at least in like America on the TSA, it literally says no club-like objects. So you don't want to just be calling them clubs because then they will put that together in their heads. But they're not weapons, they're not dangerous. Usually they're fine with them. And that's that. I'm heading to Germany. So that went well, right? I think I nailed it. England was so much fun. Thank you for letting me share those three chunks of experiences with you. Thank you for watching them if you did. And thanks for subscribing and being a patron for those of you that are patrons out there. It really means a lot to me and it makes all of this possible. Anyway, that's all I got. Bye. There's my dog. She's not dead. The hardest part is stopping and catching them all. But I will quickly try something. An attempt to beat my personal best for the longest duration juggling seven balls. Yeah, it currently stands at three hours and 46 minutes. No, I wish I could do it for that long.